Zach. What's up? Why are you dressed like that? Well, I was wanting to play some baseball after class today. And I heard it was good to warm up your throwing arm before you go play. I really don't think that's what that means. Uh-oh. Well, what do they mean then? Well, welcome to our fourth video. <laughs> this video, we're going to teach you guys about some simple dynamic exercises to warm up your joints before exercise or before a sports game. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do a little brief lesson on what dynamic exercise is. So dynamic exercise, your muscles move and stretch at the same time. This helps your muscles move more freely. And uh, dynamic flexibility is your muscle's ability to move to its full range of motion. Why is this important though? Like... Dynamic flexibility is important because it helps prevent injury and helps you perform to your peak performance. Awesome, so for example, like you're gonna go play baseball, instead of wearing this, you can just do simple um, arm circles because if you're going to throw the baseball, you want to warm up the area that you're going to be doing oh, or using. Okay, so I guess I didn't need to bring all that firewood anyway. Nope. So for our first activity today, we're going to do jumping jacks. So if you can go ahead and stand with your feet about shoulder width apart and hands at your side, bend your knees as you get ready to jump. And then as you jump, you're going to swing your arms up and then you're gonna jump again and swing your arms down. Let's go ahead and do five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome, so the next exercise we have are butt kickers. So this is super easy, you're just trying to, well, kick your butt. So you're just gonna bring your foot up like this. So let's do that for three seconds. So let's do it. One, two, three. Good job. All right, so our next one's gonna be pretty similar to butt kickers, and they're called high knees. So I want you to go ahead and bring your knee up as high as you can, and then you're gonna bring it down and bring the other one up. And we're gonna do this for about three to five seconds. So one, two, Three. And as you can see, you can either do them fast or you can do them slow. So the next exercise we already mentioned, the arm circles. So bring your arms out to your side and we're going to start by going forward. You can do small circles for about three seconds. So one, two, three. You can progress it to like medium sized circles and then larger circles. After that, you keep your arms out to your side and you go backwards. You do the same to the larger circles. There you go. All right, so next we're gonna do some shoulder swings. So I want everybody to bend at the knees, keep your knees nice and light. Bring your arms up to your side. We're just gonna swing them back and forth. So let's go ahead and do five of these. One. Two, three, four, five. So the next exercise we have are called good mornings. So you're gonna put your hands behind your head. You're gonna keep your knees straight. You're just going to hinge out your hips, just like this. So try to keep your back straight when doing this. So let's do three of them. All the way down, back up, one, two, three, good job. All right, so now we're gonna do high knee hops. So I want you to go ahead and bring your knee up and then kick it back as you go bend down to touch the floor. And then as you bring your knee back up, I want you to do a little hop. Now we're gonna do it on this side. So bend down, kick your leg back, touch the floor. As you come back up, do a hop. Let's go ahead and do three of those on each side. So bend down, kick back, hop. Bend down, kick back, hop. 
bend down, kick back, hop, bend down, kick back, hop, bend down, kick back, hop. So our next exercise is called the kick crunch. So with um, your right hand and your left leg, you're just going to try to touch your toe like this. And then you're going to switch arms and legs like this. So let's do two on both sides. So one, two, three, four. There you go. All right. So now you're going to go ahead and do uh, hedge walks. So why don't you go ahead and bring your leg up and around and then back up to start. So let's go ahead and do three of those on each side. Leg up, leg back, one, leg up, leg back, two, leg up, leg back, three. Now the other side, leg up, leg back, one, leg up, leg back, two, leg up, leg back, three. So our next exercise is our lateral slides or side steps. So I want you to assume like a half squat position and then just slide to your right and your left a little bit. So because we don't have a lot of space, we're just going to take two steps to both sides. So we can start that now. One, two. We're going to take bigger steps also. Um, in a, where you have big, more space, you're going to take about 10 steps to both sides and do about three laps, okay? All right, so next we're gonna do inchworms. So I want you to go ahead and stretch your arms up towards the sky, and then you're gonna bend forward and touch your toes. Place your arms on the ground. Once your arms on the ground, you're gonna walk forward. You're gonna hold that position, and you're gonna walk back. And then you're gonna come back up and stretch towards the sky again. Let's do two more of those. So bend, reach up and bend down. Walk forward with your hands. Hold, walk back, and stretch towards the sky. One more. Bend forward, walk your hands forward, walk your hands back, and stretch for the sky. So our final exercise are the wood chops. So for this one, you're going to have a, you can pretend, or I guess you could actually have a piece of wood in front of you. And you're going to, it's going to be pretend it's right in the middle of your feet. You're going to bring it to just all the way down. And then to the other side, all the way down. So let's do, um, it's three times on both sides. So all the way up, down, other side, down. That's two, two, last one on both sides, three, three. Good job. Zach, I knew that firewood was gonna come in handy after all, huh? And that it did, it really did. Um, these are some exercises to perform before any sport or exercise. And they can actually be performed as an exercise by themselves if you want to. Yeah, it's important to keep doing these um, every day and make it a part of your routine. Okay, so now I know what I need to do, do before I go play, play baseball. Yes, you do. And remember everybody, do something today that your future self will thank you for.